Dynamic content refers to experience builders ability to utilize the text widget to pull or summarize information directly from attribute tables. So to demonstrate this, I've pulled in a map that has a snapshot of wildland fires uh, from a couple years ago. And so these locations were exactly where wildfires were located and the information in the attribute table includes incident name and daily acres burned. And that's what I wanna show on my list over here on the left. So this list over here on the last left has different cards. And what I want is each of these cards within the list to show the incident name and the daily acres burned for all of the wildfire points showing in my map. So first I need to click on the list data frame and then I need to connect to a data set. What I'm going to do is connect to the wildfire current incident points from this data layer. And then what I'm going to do is click into the text frame that's in the list widget. When I click on this text frame, you see this database symbol here. When I hover over that, it says dynamic content. Now, if we were not connected to a data source, if we did not take that first step, we would not be able to click on the dynamic content button. But because we are connected to a data source, we can click on it and the dynamic window appears. So you'll see that the dynamic content window gives you the ability to work with attributes directly from the table, statistics for summarizing different values, and you can also come up with some basic expressions. All of these are available within this dynamic content window that is associated with the text widget. So I'm gonna come over to attribute and I'm gonna to choose to show the incident name. When I click on that, you see it appears here within the text frame. I'm gonna click enter, and then I'm going to click on daily acres, now, when I click out of that text frame, you will see that each of these has updated with the name of the incident as well as acreage burn. So you'll also notice that the decimal places that are showing up in that daily acres burned is, is pretty outrageous. There are a lot of decimals there showing a, a false precision. And so what we wanna do is change that to only show two decimal places. I'm gonna go ahead and click back into the text frame. And when I do that, I am going to highlight daily acres, and then I'm going to click back into the dynamic content window. From here, I'm gonna come over and click on the expression tab. Way down in the lower left-hand corner, there's a gear button. This is the number formatting settings. So I'm gonna click on that, and I'm going to enable number formatting. From here, you can see that I can set a minimum number of decimal places and a maximum. I'm gonna force this to be two. So I'm gonna put two as my minimum and maximum. I'm gonna leave the thousand separator, and then I'm going to click this insert button at the bottom of the dynamic content window. Clicking that insert button actually updates the, the settings for the number formatting on the daily acres that we had highlighted. Now I'm gonna click back out of the text box and you'll see that the number has been updated with the format that we would like. Now there is another option for you to do some statistics with dynamic content within a text widget. So what I'm gonna do is pull in a text widget outside of my list, and then I'm going to connect it to the same data source, which is the current wildfire incidents points layer. And then what I wanna do is I wanna, you know, uh, have an average, average daily acres burned based on the entire data set. So I, I typed in average daily acres burned. Now I'm going to click on the dynamic content window and I'm going to go to the statistics tab in here. And then I am going to come down and I'm gonna leave the operator as average, but I'm gonna come in here and choose daily acres. And then I'm going to insert that. So you can see that an expression has been provided where it's the average daily acres of all of the, the wildfires within this feature layer. When I click out of that text box, you'll see that the average daily acres burned is 1,265.274. I can now go in and do the number formatting, whatever it is I wanna do, but that is how you can also use dynamic content to provide infographics in a dashboard type of scenario.